Mrs. Hinch has revealed that she is using a method called the bucket to help her two-year-old son Ronnie build his attention skills. The 31-year-old, who is mom to Ronnie, two, and seven-month-old Lenny with husband Jamie Hinchliffe, has spoken openly to her 4.2 million Instagram followers of her eldest son's invisible speech needs. Mom of two Mrs. Hinch, real name Sophie Hinchliffe, has enrolled Ronnie for speech therapy and has recently shared the latest method that she has adopted to help her adorable toddler. The cleaning sensation shared a sweet collage of snaps to her Instagram story of Ronnie with a blue bucket, captioned, We had our speech therapy session again this afternoon guys. And our core focus to start with is building early attention skills. Ron's attention span is very short so we are working on different methods to help. And our lovely therapist sent me this link and I've found it so amazingly helpful. Get exclusive celebrity stories and fabulous photo shoots straight to your inbox with OK.S Daily Newsletter. You can sign up at the top of the page. It's called The Bucket. So I just thought I would share the link with you all because I have been overwhelmed with the amount of messages I have received from people in the same boat 20. Speech and language therapist Brian E. Rust, from the Isle of Wight, has shared a video to her YouTube channel where she describes the resource of the bucket for building early attention skills. She said, the idea behind the bucket is to create an irresistible invitation to learn to create an opportunity where we can be a part of those exciting super interesting and engaging things that a child is naturally interested in exploring and learning about. It works by the parent pulling out various items from the bucket, which is opaque and has a lid so the child cannot see the content inside, before playing with one toy at a time. However the parent does not hand over the toy to the child but instead engages their toddler by making their little one focus on their mum or dad with the toy. Brian explained, the difficult bit of the bucket is to not hand over the toys to the child because we can't compete with some of these exciting things. The moment I had over a toy to a child, I have lost that exciting thing that was really catching their attention and helping them to engage with me. So I have to hold onto these things, put them back in the bucket, and pull out something else. Bryony revealed that the bucket builds really early associations including the link between a child paying attention to another person and enjoying a fun activity together.